This video will change how you play Call of Duty Vanguard forever. <laughs> no, just kidding. What we're going over today isn't super game breaking. Well, maybe a little, but it's nice to know. What's going on guys, it's Jukes, and real quick before we start, I just want to give an update to the last video where we talked about glitched camo challenges. So for the automation, instead of Assassin, we want to use the weapon perk Frenzy, and for the NZ41, it says the Defender Proficiency, but there isn't one, but if you look in Kit, it's there, and it'll track. And the Grenade Launcher long shots should be working now. Those are the only new fixes that I know of since that video, and I'll put on the screen now, real quick, the bugs that are still in the game that I don't know how to fix. Also, YouTube decided a few days ago that they want to hide dislikes for the viewer i think it's super helpful to have the ratio available to save you time for clickbait and i've got nothing to hide i stand by the work i put in my content so for today and on the rest of my videos if you don't like it for whatever reason then feel free to like the dislike comment that i'll post below okay now that that's out of the way let's go over this unlimited tax sprint thing so i found this accidentally while i was testing what the fastest gun in the game was and that's going to be another video that i'm not quite done with yet but i'll throw a link down in the comments if you're interested but yeah so there's two methods to this and they both involve the bayonet the bayonet is an underbarrel attachment on the following guns and so the first method is going to be if you don't want to use stims and then the second one is with stims so for the first one if you don't want to use stims then you're gonna to have to wait for your tax sprint to charge so like right here i was just tax sprinting and when i try to tax sprint again it's not ready so you just have to wait a little bit longer now that your tax sprint is charged what you want to do is sprint normally not the tax sprint just the normal sprint and when you do this a prompt is going to come up on the screen that will say bayonet charge to activate it it'll be whatever button you have to melee activate the bayonet charge and then just a second or two after doing this try to activate your tax sprint when you try to activate the tax sprint only try to do it once so just do like a double click and that's it if you keep spamming the tax sprint button it's not going to work when done correctly your character will drop the gun like they're sprinting normally for just a second and then they'll start tax sprinting if you activate it too early your player will just end up doing a normal sprint after the bayonet charge and now as long as you hold down the sprint button you're going to be in this state where you have unlimited tax sprint it doesn't matter if you run into things if you run into a wall and you're not even moving as long as you hold down the sprint button you'll still be in that state. Again, so you can see what it looks like in real time with no pauses. Sprint normally, activate the bayonet charge, hit tax sprint about now, and then hold down the sprint button. So since the first step is to sprint normally, I'm pretty sure that doing this is impossible if you have automatic tax sprint on in your settings. It'll work with both the normal and the automatic sprint though. So out of the two methods, I would say that this one is more difficult because it just takes a little bit longer and sometimes you can mess up the timing. But I did want to show it because if you're playing search and destroy, then this is going to allow you to use stuns or another tactical. Plus, even if you are doing the stim method, there is a chance that you run out of stims and this could help you as well. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, this might work in Warzone 2 when it drops, so we'll see. All right, so that was method one, and now on to method two. So for method two, automatic tax sprint will work with this one. Now, the easier and faster way to do this is to have stims on your class, obviously, and so right after doing the bayonet charge, stim yourself, activate your tax sprint, or if you have automatic, just hold it down, and you're good to go. So again, it's bayonet charge, stim, activate tax sprint, and hold so at the start of the video i said that i didn't really think this is game breaking and here's why this is what you can and cannot do in the infinite tax sprint state what you can't do is slide jump or try to reload your weapon so basically you just have to run straight or you lose it what you can do with it though is find a weapon with the gung-ho weapon proficiency and you can hit fire without breaking from tax sprint but when you run out of bullets you know you got to reload and you're gonna have to stop running the as-44 and whatever this last rifle is i don't want to try to pronounce that right now these are both good guns that have a bayonet and have the gung-ho proficiency so if you were really paying attention at the start of the video you would have noticed that i was infinitely tax sprinting with the pancake gun the dp27 that doesn't have a bayonet so how did i do this 
and that's simply because when you switch weapons it doesn't cancel the sprint. So the best way to take advantage of this would be to use two weapons with Gung Ho, so something like the machine pistol and then you can throw on lightweight to make you even faster, or if you want to use two primary weapons then just do overkill. Now I don't have my AS44 or the other rifle leveled yet so this is just going to be a custom match in the background, but yeah so if you use overkill then you could use one of those guns and then combine that with the revolving shotgun, run it in hardcore, and get easy challenges done. A couple more tips for this is that using the on hand kit is going to help you stim faster and using the taped grip is going to help you with switching weapons faster which you'll probably be doing with this method. Now before I go today I had to share with all of you this hilarious goliath glitch that I just saw. I didn't discover this and I don't know if they were the first to find out about this but I saw it on reddit from user big hero 6 fan and so what you can do is get a friend to call in a goliath and then you'll need to put on the demolition perk so you can have two satchel charges place them both down and have the goliath roll over them once the goliath rolls over them then jump on top of it and detonate your satchel charges and you will go flying i really really hope they don't patch this because it's hilarious and you can do trick shots with it but yeah i just had to share that with you guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'll catch you all in the next one and i hope you have a great day